Let's crack a lacking. So, are you traveling in the next few months? Are you traveling in the next few days? Are you traveling tomorrow and haven't even started packing? Because I feel you. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Danielle, if you are new. And if you are new, make sure to subscribe down below. Um, but today, I'm going to be talking about 10 ways to make traveling easier. Some of you may be watching this and you might be like, wow, I hate traveling. It's such a hassle going to airport, doing this, doing that. And some of you might be like, oh my gosh, like I'm so excited. Like I'm going on a trip in the next few weeks because I know spring break's coming up. So I wanted to upload this video at a good time that would be most convenient for you guys. Last year in 2016, I forget the number I counted. I traveled so much and I'm so grateful for that opportunity that I got to travel so much because I love to travel. I love going to the airport. I love getting dressed up. I, I love getting my food after I go through security and like waiting, I don't know. I like it, I find joy in it. However, there have been some times since I've been traveling a lot more, there's more problems that you encounter because obviously the more you travel, the more bad things happen and the more problem solving you have to do. So I know a lot of you guys are wanderlusty kind of people and you wanna travel. Um, so I have written down 10 things Literally, I wrote this list down while on an airplane after a really bad experience at the airport. So these are genuine things. These aren't things I just looked up. These are things that I've experienced and things that I think will help you in your traveling experience, whether it's before you leave for the airport or on the plane or just different things that have helped me hacks, if you will, um, and I just really wanted to share these with you guys. So comment down below if you found this helpful or if you have any tips for me because I'm going on some trips soon. I'm going to Mexico for spring break. I'm really excited and some other things in the future. So I can always use the tips. Tip number one is one of the most important ones and something that I learned recently is very important. Always make sure to check in before you get to the airport. Check in for your flight, just do it. I have never been one to check in for my flight. I always just like, oh yeah, I booked it. It's fine, I have the confirmation email. The line won't be that long. I'll get to the airport, I'll check in, I'll get my boarding pass, boom, done. <laughs> in a perfect world, right? So a lot of the times what I'll do is I'll, you know, go to the airport and I'll wait in the line. It's not usually, usually too long. Or I'll like use the outdoor area if your terminal like has an outdoor one where you can like, you like curbside baggage check drop off that always is quicker but the lines not usually long for me now recently I was traveling home from somewhere and I got to the airport and I was just like eh, I don't feel like checking in for my flight I've been doing it recently but this time I was like eh, I don't really want to I get there and the lady tells me and I just remember I was like I'm ready to go home like it just it, I, I needed to get home because I had school the next day you know the lady goes um, so we don't have a seat for you on this plane. And I was like, uh, that's really funny because I'm pretty sure I booked a flight on this plane. Like I booked a seat and she goes, yes, you did. You see, we overbooked this flight, so we don't have a seat for you. And I was like, oh, great. So that really stunk. That was really bad. I didn't get a seat on the flight because I didn't check in prior to. There was other people that were on my flight that, you know, checked in maybe 24 hours before their flight was about to leave and that secured them a seat. But since I hadn't checked in yet, um, I wasn't one of those people that was secured a seat. So no matter what, just check in if you can. And that avoids a little bit of time. You can pay for your, if you're gonna check your bag, you can pay that money already. So that when you get to the airport, you don't have to worry about exchanging money or anything. You just give them your bag and your boarding pass if you have it on your phone, it's a good deal. Tip number two is something that I just recently got and I'm so happy is get a global entry pass or at least sign up for TSA pre-check. Um, so global entry is essentially, you have to like go through all these steps of approval. I'm actually going to do the interview portion for it on Saturday, <laughs> um, but I'm pretty sure you get it the day of. Like they don't really question you too hard, they just make sure you're not a criminal. Um, but essentially what it is, is if you travel internationally a lot, or even if it's not a lot, um, basically you get approved and you get to go through customs quicker. It's just an easier situation because traveling internationally can be really hectic and this gets you shorter lines and customs and that can be really long. And also since you're basically at the highest rank, if you can get through customs fast, they'll instantly give you TSA pre-check. And if you guys are at the airport and you see those signs, like you see the long line to um, for security, and then you see like this really short line that says TSA pre-check with a sign and those people are just zooming on through, that's what you want. Um, I get TSA pre-checked every now and then. My boarding pass just like has it. I don't know if that happens to you guys. 
Um, but I want it every time because TSA pre-check, you don't have to take off your shoes. You don't have to take off anything. And I don't, my favorite thing is I don't have to take my laptop out of my bag. I don't have to take out all my electronics. I don't have to take out all my liquids. Like it's so easy and you know, you're approved, you're pre-screened and everything. So it's safe. It's just a good situation. And I think if you can invest in it, it's not too expensive at all. It's worth it, especially if you travel a lot. So I'm so excited about that. So I always like to try and dress to the nines when I go to the airport. I like looking good. Usually on the way back from the destination I'm going to, I'm a little bit sad because I'm leaving. So I don't dress as nice, but always on the way there, I am just like ready to go. I always carry like my Celine bag or like a really nice bag. And then after a while I realized, you know what? It's just not practical and it's not fun to walk around with. So I got a backpack and let me tell you guys, traveling with a backpack is just the best thing ever. And if you can find a super fashionable one or one that makes you happy on the inside, go for it. So I got this one from Herschel. Um, it's just like a standard black one, but it does have a laptop sleeve, which was really important for me. And it has this front pocket. Guys, this has gone through like a lot of security lanes and it's gone through on a lot of trips now and I love it. It's so sleek and chic and it goes great with all different outfits and it's just great. And I'll bring this and then maybe if I want to wear a crossbody purse or put my purse in here, it's just so much easier to travel with with a backpack rather than having like a tote bag, like personally. So a backpack is the way to go. Next is if you are traveling somewhere that is cold, I'm wearing a hat right now just because, um, wear your biggest coat and your biggest shoes on the plane. Because well, one, planes are usually very, very cold. And two, this is easier for you to pack. So I always wear my biggest coat and I'll usually wear my boots um, on the plane so that it's easier to pack my suit. Case. Next is kind of along those same lines, but pack a scarf or a shawl because I have never been on an airplane that is warm. I've never been on an airplane that I'm like actually like kind of hot or even close to being hot because they keep it negative two degrees, which is good. Like I'd rather it be cold than hot. But you always want to be prepared because especially if you're in like a long plane ride and you're like in the middle seat or if you're on the window seat or the aisle seat and you're just cold and you just want to cuddle up but you can't because you're in a seat. I just pop that blanket on top of me or like my blanket scarf or a shawl and I just feel very warm and cozy and you also look stylish. And they're super easy to just roll up and put in your backpack. Next is something I literally do every time I go to the airport. It's just like my tradition. I go to like one of those little shops, those gift shop things and I buy a bottle of smart water gum and a magazine those are like the three things i mean not every single time but like usually i always get water for sure it's always important to travel with a bottle of water because yes you get a complimentary drink but like it's like this big you just have a water bottle with you at all times and gum is really good for taking off and landing because it doesn't make your like it helps you with like ears popping i don't know maybe it's like a psychological thing but i just like chewing gum on airplanes it's just something that means a lot. And since you don't have internet on the airplane, well, I don't always buy internet. Like I hardly ever do to be honest because it's nice to kind of have a break. I like to read magazines. It's a good excuse. And they have like tons of magazines in the airport. So I got this for my 18th birthday for my parents, my parents, my parents, my parents, <laughs> my family, my parents, same thing. And this is actually from the brand Toomey, which is really nice. But they, I mean, they have all kinds. I don't know exactly what you would call this, but I kind of call it my travel portfolio. It's amazing. So basically you open it up and you can like essentially have it be a wallet. So you can put all your cards, you can put your ID here and it has a spot for your boarding pass and for your passport. And it has like a zipper pouch for your um, coins. It's really nice for when you go to security and they ask for your boarding pass and your um, driver's license or whatever, you can pull it out from the same area. And then let's say you're, you know, buying something at the gift shop or whatever, you just pull out your card. It's just like a nice place to have everything all together rather than like ravaging through your bag, like in line. Like it's just, don't, don't worry about that stress. Just get one of these. Next is something that I also learned from experience. Um, if you're looking for good prices on flights, apparently on Tuesdays is the best day for booking flights. Like it's like the cheapest. I don't know. That's what my mom told me. But that's besides the point. That's just something I thought I'd include. Um, I always go on Expedia or Orbitz or Kayak, any of those websites that literally label all airlines. Put in the dates that you want to travel and the times and if you want it nonstop, blah, 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 blah. And so let's say you find a flight on United Airlines that you really like. Don't book it on Expedia. I've done that before and it just kind of gets kind of confusing. Go to the United Airlines actual website and sometimes it's even cheaper on their website. So try that. And it's just nice to actually be affiliated with that brand because who knows if you book on Expedia and for some reason it doesn't connect to United and then you get to the airport the day of and they're like, we don't have you on this flight. My last tip or hack for you guys is, okay, don't use these on the airplane. I mean, if it's the last resort and this is what you got, use them. But man, oh man, 
these make such a difference when I'm on the plane I don't know about you guys but there's like this like constant air noise or there's just some sort of white noise on the plane the whole ride and like my earbuds don't do enough so if I really want to focus on the movie I'm watching or if I want to listen to music or if I'm trying to do work the earbuds don't do it justice so if you have a nice pair of headphones I mean they don't even have to be really nice you can buy them from like Claire's I don't care these just have way better coverage and you can focus a lot better on what you're doing and maybe it actually will help you fall asleep because these I can always hear what's kind of going on around me and I don't always want that so that completes today's travel hacks how to make traveling easier video i truly hope this video helped you guys i wanted to film this video not just to film this video i wanted to film it because these are things that i've experienced and i really hope they can help your traveling experiences become easier and simpler because i think traveling is amazing and i think when you get the chance to do it you should you shouldn't be scared of it you shouldn't be stressed you shouldn't be worried just enjoy it so hopefully these things helped you Again, if you are new, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday, and give a comment down below of a video you guys want to see in the future. I love you guys so much. Make sure to follow me on all my social media, always linked down below, and I will see you guys very soon for my next one. Bye, guys.